Go. Hazel teaches any connection to the others only by virtue of employment, except she's got a good lawyer. That's how to write a good letter anyway, that lawyer. And she no longer works. Not six months ago. I made four now. Three, four, because you got the magic girl. <laughs> I wouldn't include her. She worked here. She also worked other places. And what she died from, you couldn't pick up here. At least I don't think you can. That's not funny, Charlie. Besides, it's just idle talk. In my experience, there's usually something to the idle talk. It comes to girls like that. From a Lord Phantom, wasn't she? Italians. The conditions they live in. 10, 12 people in three rooms. No wonder they all don't die of one infection or another. Three, then. And how many did? Only Miss Magical. But I haven't heard from her people. It's too late for them anyway. The statute of limitations is two years. But Miss Future is another story. She's in a position to make some serious trouble now. In all the time I've been here, nobody has even so much as slipped on the floor. And now this. Talking about four girls. Out of how many hundreds we've employed? Six, seven hundred over the years. And some of them were sick when they got here. One girl you hired was a complete cripple. Couldn't even climb up the stairs. Your father carried her up to the studio every morning. It didn't make any difference to me how she got up the stairs. She was a fast worker and a very sweet little girl. She was in poor health. She needed the work. Arthur. And not just for the money, to feel productive. That's what work does, Charlie. It gives us a purpose. I don't see any reason why we should uh, why we should keep why we should stop hiring girls like that. Well, they may get sick and kind of blame us for it. You might want to reconsider that policy. Let's see what Dr. Drinker has to say. Dr. Drinker? Some professor at the Harvard School of Industrial Hygiene. He chairs the department. And he's agreed to take a look at our operations. Don't you think we're jumping the gun a little bit, hiring him? We've had six girls quit this week, and Mrs. McNeil tells me there could be more. Girls come and go all the time. It's never been like this. These girls are terrified. We need to do something to calm them. Letting Drinker examine them. <laughs> that sounds to me like a recipe of mass hysteria. We'll tell them it's a routine physical. Edward? Companies do routine physicals all the time. Then Drinker starts next month. In the meantime, I recommend you make an offer to Miss Cooser. Settle? There's no proof her problems are connected to us. If she sues, believe me, you won't like the publicity it brings. And neither will your investors. You think this will affect the stock offering? Don't you? Wonderful. We'll open at 30 and close at 10. Or not open at all. But if we can give this girl something that will keep her quiet, it would be a condition of the settlement. Maybe we ought to do it. Suppose that lawyer has a racket going. He finds the girls and talks them into making suits. Then we reward him for his larceny. Unless Miss Cruiser genuinely believes she got saved here. It could be, like Charlie said. She comes from a large immigrant family, not well educated, not a lot of resources. Exactly.